JJ is addicted to burgers, and Mikey wants to get a six-pack from the gym. So we're going to build a McDonald's and gym for them. Will they like our builds and give us a one million dollar prize? Or throw us in this death pit? I'm pretty sure JJ told me he wanted a McDonald's, so I'm going to start by building that. I'm going to need the Wand of Symmetry, and I'll place it right here. I want to make it look really cool, so I'm going to build some yellow walls going up like this. And I want to make my McDonald's look like a treasure chest, so that it looks like you can find a lot of hidden treasures inside. Next, what I'm going to want to do is build this McDonald's going around in a big circle like this. This way, it's going to look like a really cool restaurant. It's going to be super cool, guys. But now that I've built the frame for my McDonald's, it's time to add the red outside. After all, McDonald's are red and yellow. So I'm going to build them with their signature colors. And if you didn't already know what I'm doing right now, guys, I'm going to make my McDonald's look like a big M. I think I'm going to do another one of these buildings right next to it. I'm not sure. Maybe I should build another M on the top. But I'll work on that in a moment. Let me just go ahead and add a little bit of a roof so that it looks a little bit more professional. Now, let's go to the other side over here and build the same thing. We need this McDonald's to be symmetrical and definitely not look like Pibs. Pibs is not even symmetrical, even though he's building a gym. What is this, Pib? What do you mean, Louie? It is symmetrical. Mm, I don't know, Pip. It does not look very good to me. Even though it's symmetrical, it's made out of cobblestone and dirt. Yeah, Louie, those are the best blocks in Minecraft. Uh, are you sure? I mean, if you're building a gym out of dirt, I guess you could call it, like, grits or something. Because that sounds really scary and manly. Or the, or the dirty gym, because we don't wash our hands in this gym. Uh, Pip, maybe you shouldn't have told me that. I don't know. But anyways, come on, guys. We need to keep building up my beautiful McDonald's. So I'm going to keep building out of these red and yellow blocks. And this is looking pretty cool. I'm loving how this is looking. Now what I'm going to want to do is get some red stained glass and place it going all the way up through the front. This is going to make my McDonald's look almost like the Krusty Krab from SpongeBob. But let's go ahead and put some red windows on. And now we need a doorway so we can get inside. So I'm going to put a very cool red doorway going over the top that will help you enter the McDonald's. Now I'll put a window going over the top like this. And this is looking very, very nice. But we need to add windows on every side. We can't just not have a window on all sides or else Mikey and JJ will get really cold when they're eating. Which I do not want. Alright, but as you guys can see, we are getting very close to finishing this outside. We have a really cool red glass window and a very cool entranceway. Now what I want to do is add another M on the top. But first of all, let's go ahead and add the floor for the top in, which is going to be yellow like this. This will probably be Pip's favorite floor of the McDonald's, and I'm pretty sure Mikey and JJ are both going to like it because it's got red in it, so JJ will like it, and also because it's going to have a lot of food inside, so Mikey's going to love it too. All right, but now that I've added this little yellow section on the top. It's time to add the signature McDonald's M. I'm going to make it really big on the top. I'm also going to make it super thick <clears throat> with these yellow blocks. All right, let's go ahead and get to the top of the M, and then let's start going back down. And as you guys can see, the more I build it, the better it's looking. So let's come down with this M, and boom, we have this awesome looking M. And wait, guys, it's kind of looking like a Happy Meal. Don't you think? Comments down below the doors. Now what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and extend this M out both sides of the McDonald's. This way, I can have a big window on the top that looks like a McDonald's M. So let's build some blocks up like this, and then let's build some blocks going down. Now let's go and add some of these really cool foundations that will hold the M together so it doesn't fall.
fall apart. And then finally, let's add a cool sky roof to the top of my McDonald's. I'm going to make it out of regular glass on the corners here, but inside of the M, I'm going to make it out of red stained glass. So let's get some of that and fill it all in. This will be the second floor where a lot of customers can eat if they really want to. So we will just build some blocks over like this and some blocks over like this. Now we can fill in every single side with a nice red window. After all, no one will want to eat if it doesn't feel like they're in a nice, natural, and very, very cool eating area. And if I have a lot of light coming from the sky, people are going to want to eat a lot in my McDonald's, and they will not want to leave because it will look so nice. I'm pretty sure this McDonald's is looking super cool on the outside now. If I go over here, yep, that is awesome. It's looking just like a real Happy Meal. Let's just go ahead and start adding some more details now. What I think I want to do on the outside is make a playground, because a lot of McDonald's have those. So let's go ahead and use some pro world edit commands. Let's go all the way over here, and let's right click right here. Now let's get some stone bricks. It will make this really cool playground section, where we can add some fences and some rides. So let's place some of these spruce fences all the way around this playground. All right, let's just place the rest of these fences, and now we have this playground area. Wait, Louis, you're building a playground? Let me help you. Wait, seriously? Okay, if you really want to. I thought you were working on your gym, though. Oh, yeah, Louie. I was working on my gym, but I really love playgrounds. How about I start on the first part? All right, well, go ahead, buddy. What are you going to build? Well, Louie, we're going to build a little bit of a ladder right up here. And you might be like, Hey, what are you doing with this ladder? Well, you're going to have to climb up this ladder and then jump up to these spikes. Oh, wait, wait a second, Pip. We can't just put spikes in our playground. This is for children. How about we turn this big spike diving board into some kind of fun, entertaining thing? Like maybe a slide to go down. Look, if I get some of these ramp blocks, we can go ahead and make a cool slide. This way you can slide down all the way to the bottom. Yeah, Louie. I think we should call this slide the poop shoot. The poop shoot? Ew. Are you kidding me, Pip? That looks so weird. Oh, what's so weird about poop, Louie? It's natural. Um, I don't think this is natural, Pip. This is weird. Who would poop down a slide? Um, I would definitely do that. Well, Louie, we have this slide, but we don't want to slide on the rocks. We want to slide under something that would break your fall. Like some of this, uh, yellow water? Did you just say yellow water? Pip, this is pee! No, it's not. It's not just any pee. It's my two-week-old pee. Ew! No, no, no. Get rid of that, buddy. I have a better alternative. I'm going to grab some sand like this, and I'm going to place some sand at the bottom of this slide. This way, if you slide down too fast, the sand will move out of the way when you land, and it will break your fall. Oh, but Louie, if we're trying to slow down the person on the slide, why don't we just use a cobweb and put it right here? Well, I guess we could. Hey, how about we put some cobwebs at the bottom of the slide so we don't die? Oh, and I have a funny thing to finish it off. They're going to explode! Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't put TNT at the bottom of the slide. What are you doing? Well, wouldn't that be an exciting slide? It would. It would be very action-packed. But I don't think I want to blow up my uh, customers in my McDonald's. Well, I mean, I'd love to blow up your McDonald's. Yeah, you'd probably want to blow up the bathroom with poop. But anyways, Pip, and I have a really good idea what we can build. We can build one of those little spinny devices. All we have to do is just make a really cool little circle shape in the ground. Then we can put a motor down like this and we can put a mechanical bearing. Do you know how that works, Pip? Oh, no, Louise. This seems like some really complicated equipment. Oh, don't you worry. It will be just fine, Pip. I'm really good at building with these. All you need to do is put this motor down, put a mechanical bearing on the top and then just place a bunch of blocks stuck together with sticky glue. You're going to find this really fun, Pip. I guarantee it. I'll stick all these blocks together. Now all I have to do is go under the ground and replace this mechanical bearing. No, huh? Louie, there's no way this will work. Just you watch. Boom! Oh, 
room. What is this happening? Well, Pip, it's all redstone magic. Now you can stand in the middle and spin around on it. Wait, maybe we should get some chairs here so we can sit down while spinning. Wait, why can't I put chairs on it? Don't worry, Pip. I'll help you. Let me just go under here and get to this motor and this mechanical bearing. I'm going to switch it off now. And what I want you to do is stick some chairs down with this super glue, okay? All right. Just get this super glue and, uh, how do I do this? Like this? Yep, you did it right, buddy. I did it. I'm going to add some little walls so you can't really fall off. And then I'll add a fence in the middle with something really cool on the top. Just like this. So it looks like the whole thing is spinning. It's like a little radar system. Yep. Watch this now, Pip. I'm going to put the mechanical bearing back and boop, now the whole thing spins. It works. Yep. Now you can spin around and enjoy the ride, Pip. Look. Yeah, Louis, this is really exciting, but I'm getting a little dizzy. Now, are you pooping? Why are you pooping now you're dizzy? I thought you would be sick. Yeah, Louie, I think the poop came huh? out of my mouth. Pip, I have a good idea. Just quickly sit on one of those chairs. I want to try something. Oh, do you want me to make more poop come out of my mouth? Well, this could be quite funny. Let's just see over here. Okay, Pip, are you on the device? Uh, yeah, Louie, I'm on the device. All right, guys, let's crank this speed up like this. And now Pip is spinning a blender speed. Are you trying to scare me to me? Uh, Pip, I don't know. Uh, that's up for you to decide. You look like you're in a blender. I can't even see you. Louie, I'm getting really sick. Wait, what? Oh, my gosh, Pip, you're throwing up everywhere. Stop. I can't stop, Louie. Stop the machine. All right, I'm stopping it. I'm stopping it. Let me just turn it back down, and uh, that should fix it now, Pip. Are you okay? Oh, oh my gosh, Louie. That was the coolest and most horrible thing ever. Well, I'm glad you uh, enjoyed it. We should make another cool ride. Maybe a little less puke involved. All right, well, what kind of ride could we build? I mean, we could build a cool minecart that makes you spin around in circles again. Oh, yeah, kind of like bumper cards. Wait, I have a better idea. Let's make a roller coaster that takes you all the <gasps> way around the McDonald's. A McDonald's with a roller coaster? That sounds insane. Yep, this is a McDonald's that you'll never, ever see in real life because they do not have as much money as you think. They would never make a roller coaster in a McDonald's. But... <laughs> We have the budget, too, because we are in creative mode. Oh, I wish they made McDonald's in real life with creative mode. Yeah, me too. The McDonald's would look so cool if they added creative mode to it. Take a look at this, buddy. I'm about to do something you've never seen in Minecraft before. Are you ready? Um, Louie, I've seen roller coasters in Minecraft. Yep, but have you ever seen a roller coaster in Minecraft do a loop-de-loop? -loop? Um, no, that's not possible. Well, you're about to see it. Do a loop de loop, Pip. Are you ready? Watch. We can have some rails go this way. We can get a emerald fan putting you up here. Then we can place a fan on this side here, blowing you to the side, and it will send you to this block. Then you'll fall all the way down here. And as you can see, Pip, we can have some rails that will catch you when you get to the bottom, and it will send you through the craziest loop de loop ever. Holy, there's no way this works. I'll believe you when I see it. All right. Well, get. Give it a go, buddy. Just you wait. This roller coaster is going to be amazing. And now we just have to do the epic drop that will drop you all the way back down onto the roller coaster. So we'll just do it right here. It's going to drop you down just over here. And you're going to land right back on Ready to Ride. All right, Louie, where do I begin? Well, Pip, you can start right back here on the start of the roller coaster. All right, I've got my minecart right now. Push me, Louie, push me. All right, go ahead, Pip. Go for a ride on the roller coaster. All right, so far, so good. This loop-de-loop -loop not going to work, Louie. It's impossible. I won't. Uh-oh. Um, I might have thrown you a little too far. Well, it's a good thing you tested it, Pip, because we should put a roof on this thing. Louis, that is so dangerous. Why would you do that? You just killed me. Oh, come on, Pip. Try it again. Hop in the minecarts, and I'll show you the actual working loop-the-loop. -loop. All right. But if it kills me again, I'm going to bring you to the court. You'll be okay, Pip. Here you go. Woohoo! Oh, it actually 
actually worked. Yeah. That's so cool. Yep, you made it through the loop de loop. And now I need to set up some powered rails so you start the ride again. Oh, come on. Again, again. All right, go around in another circle, Pip, and take a look at this ride. It's going to send you on a crazy loop. And then you're going to go back down and start the ride all over again. This is probably the coolest roller coaster <laughs> yeah. I've ever seen in Minecraft. Yep, I'm glad you like it, Pip. This is a really cool McDonald's, right? Yeah, Louie. Not as cool as my gym. Um, are you sure, Pip? I mean, I'm looking at your gym right now, and it's looking kind of, uh, bad. What do you mean, Louie? You added a loop-de-loop -loop to your McDonald's, so I added a loop-de-loop -loop staircase to my gym. <laughs> Pip, that's just a regular staircase, but okay, buddy. You can go ahead and worry about your staircase in your gym, but you haven't built anything. Maybe I should leave you alone for a while so you can actually build a cool <laughs> gym for Mikey. Yeah, please leave me the building. All right, fine, fine, fine. But now, guys, I just thought about something. How are people going to order from my McDonald's if they don't have a parking lot? So let's go ahead and build one right in front of my McDonald's. And now, obviously, I'm going to need some yellow parking spaces. So let's go ahead and do those. All I have to do is just build a few parking spaces with three blocks of space in them. After all, that is as wide as a car will get in my parking lot. Let's go ahead and just build a few more. I'll build... I will say about three more parking spots. I think there's going to be a lot of people parked in my McDonald's, though. So I'm going to add a few more parking spaces. I'll put one right here, right here, and right here. So I have double the amount of parking space. All right, guys, but now I'm going to add some lines to the middle of the road so you know where to drive. It will take you right here, and then it will take you out of the parking lot this way. I need to make sure that this area isn't able to be parked in because if someone parks there, it'll block off my McDonald's. So I'm going to add this checkerboard pattern with some red inside it. And that will basically mean no parking right here, guys. But just to make sure nobody actually tries to park here, because someone will, I'll put some iron fences up right here. So no one will even try to go there. All right, but now that I've got a parking lot, it's time to add some cars. After all, there's nothing in here. So let's get some black for some wheels. And let's get some different colors to make some different cars. I'll put one right here here too, and this will be a really small one. And now, let's go ahead and add the car shape. So I'll get some white stained glass for the window. And let's make this one a little white car. So I'll just build it up like this, in this shape. This is kind of a car shape. Let's just go ahead and add some windows on now. And then some yellow wool to look as headlights. It looks kind of cute. But I need to build a bigger car. And this one will be mine. I'm going to have a red hot rod car. This is going to be really cool looking. I'm going to make it nice and small. And then I'm going to give it a spoiler on the back. And I'll place them on the back like this. And this car will have a sports spoiler on the back. So it looks really cool. So let's once again get some white stained glass. And this could be where the window will go. And then finally, we'll add the yellow concrete. That is my sports car, guys. But anyways, it's time to build the third car. I'm going to build some black wool here for the wheels. And then I'm going to make a really cool looking spoiler. Look at this one. This is going to be an epic spoiler on the back. And it's a little bit smaller. But now it's time to build the actual car. This one's going to be like a Lamborghini, so it's going to have a really flat front like that. And then I'll put some little windows on it. And just to make it a little bit smaller, I'll add some green slabs. This thing is looking really, really strange. But I think that kind of looks like a Lamborghini somehow. And now it's time to build the final car. I'll just put some black wool down like this. And I think I'm going to make this like a mini tank. So I'm going to put some blue like this. And then I'm just going to put a little bit on the front. And then I'll add one of these extension poles that sticks out. So now it looks like there's a tank parked in my McDonald's. All right. But now I've got all of the cars in this parking lot and um, a tank. I guess I can go ahead and start building the inside of my McDonald's. This is where the magic will happen, guys. But before I make any magic happen, I need to make a magical floor so that people will enjoy being in here. So I'm going to make a cool floor pattern with these wooden blocks. And I can just go ahead and use World 
edit to make this a reality on the inside of the McDonald's. So that pattern, now it looks epic. But I have one last thing that I need to do, and that is uh, actually map out where everything will go in the McDonald's. So I have an idea. I'll put a little play area over here where you will be able to climb around and play tag. And then on this side, I'm going to add some ordering machines so you're able to actually make your orders. Now in the middle, I'm going to go ahead and put the kitchen. So let's get some kitchen tiles where I want it to go. I'll just place it all right here. I'll fill in all of these blocks with kitchen tiles. And I can do this very fast if I use world edit and then use this command set hand all the way across this floor. So now I have a kitchen tile area where I can build my kitchen. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to build with some yellow concrete along the front. Now we have an ordering area. But just so you know you walked into a McDonald's, I'm going to put a big M in the middle. So I'll do that. Let's just get the shape right. And boom, a big McDonald's M. All right, next, I need to build up this red area a little bit taller. And then finally, I'll just get a banner. So it looks like a really cool restaurant. And it also makes the M look like it comes down a little bit further. There we go. We now have a place where every employee can stand here and take orders. So I'll go ahead and I'll get some seats. This will allow my employees to sit down if they ever get tired. All right, but now let's use some of these wooden blocks because it's time to build the kitchen, which is the easiest part. A kitchen is just made of a little sink. I'll put a few of these right here because you definitely need to wash your hands if you're working in the kitchen. And then next, all I need is some oven. We can use these really modern looking black ones. Then finally, let's build up with some oak fences on both sides of the wall here. And let's have it hold up an area up here, which is going to be something really cool, guys. It's going to be where I can put some cabinets. And you're going to be able to get whatever you need from up here, like all of the ingredients to cook with. So let me get one of these hamburger stoves because they kind of look like deep fryers like that. But let's also go ahead and grab a cauldron too, just in case this hamburger stove does not sell the effect. All we have to do is put a water bucket inside of this cauldron and then slap a glass trap door on the top so you don't burn yourself while cooking. Then you can open and close it so you can see what's inside. Now let's just connect them together with some fences. And now this is looking almost complete. I think I just want a nice roof right here so my employees don't end up looking up too long because there's a window right above them. All right, that is looking good now, guys. That is where we will be eating in our McDonald's. But we need some tables. After all, people need to be able to sit and eat. So that should be easy to do. I'll just grab some of these very, very simple look tables. They always have some small chairs on the side where two people can eat. Like if you're going on a little dinner date. And I'll put two of these single seats right next to the windows. One right here, one right here, and one right there. There we go. Now we have two seats for any couples who come for a date in this McDonald's. But now we need some bigger tables for some bigger people. So let's put some red chairs and some yellow chairs around this table. And as you can see, this is like a party table where multiple people sit down and eat. But finally, I want two very, very long tables right next to where you can order so that people in the McDonald's might sit down here and try to order food. These seats will be more simple though. I'll just go ahead and put some seats right in front of them so that multiple people can sit on this bench. Whoa, look at me. This McDonald's is really coming together. What kind of food are you serving? Well, that's the thing, Pip. I've made the tables, but I've actually not decided what food I'm going to make. Maybe we can make a menu together. Well, of course we can, Louie. I know what foods people love. All right, well, how about this? Look, I'm going to put a menu on both sides. You can put one right here, and I'll put one right here. This will be the Louie menu. And on it will be a hamburger, a cheeseburger, and then and chicken nuggets because I love chicken nuggets. And oh, huh? wait, Pip, Bruh. what did you put on your menu? Oh, well, well, just my food, Louie. Something wrong? Um, Pip, who would eat poop? That's really unhygienic. Oh, come on, Louie. Yes, it is. It's my favorite flavor of toothpaste. Uh, toothpaste? You brush your teeth with poop? Oh, no. Well, yeah, Louie. How do you think I have such a great smile? Um, Pip, you're not even smiling right now, or are you? You look very straight-faced. Well, you aren't smiling either, Louie. Uh, I don't have a mouth. I can't smile if I wanted to. Oh, then you don't have a mouth. It tastes like a delicious menu. Oh. 
Well, I guess you can keep your menu, but I'm not serving seeds and poop. Anyways, this is my McDonald's now. I have the inside almost complete. I just need two more things. Ordering areas, and I need an area where you can play games. Oh, yeah. McDonald's usually have an arcade, so how about we make an arcade? Hmm, we could make an arcade, or maybe we could make a play area where we can play hide and seek. Oh, Louie, you really want to beat me in hide and seek? Oh, I can... I'm super good at hide and seek. Besides the fact that I've been trying to seek for my parents for 10 years. 10 years? Um, Pip, I think your parents are long gone, buddy. Yep, they are. Oh, well, at least you know that. But look, we can make a really cool play area with tunnels at the top. I can make it so you can get into this door right here. And then I'll have it so you can go through a trap door and you can climb through this really cool tunnel. And then once you reach the end, you have to set off the TNT. Oh, 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 no, 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 Pip. We are not setting off TNT. What we can do is have it so you can land on a slime block. And maybe if you're lucky when you get to the end, you'll be able to bounce off the slime block and onto the next part, which will be around about up here. And you'll be able to be the king of the castle. Oh, I want to be the king of the castle, Louis. Well, how about this? We can go ahead and actually make ourselves king of the castle. On here, we can make this out of stone bricks right in this corner and then what we could do is make it look like a castle right here oh i will be king of the hill but watch this pip we can definitely have a king of the hill game by putting an ice frame here with a crown inside and now whoever is controlling this castle gets the crown well let me watch this i'm going to get that crown Yoink. Nice job, Pip. You got the crown inside of my play area. But we still have to add one last thing, this McDonald's. And this is where you can order your food. In case you are really scared and don't want to order at the table over there. Are we going to have self-ordering kiosks? Yep, we are going to have ordering machines. So let's go ahead and do that. This should be very easy. All we need is a mechanical console. And this is what you'll be able to select your order with. Next, we just have to build up with some yellow like this and then get some slabs. We can place these slabs over the top like this and then on top of it, we can put a TV screen and this is where you can order or uh, maybe watch TV if you like. Yeah, like order a new TV channel. Why is there a scary channel? All right, fine. Look, I'll get rid of this TV and let's try a different one. Maybe we should try this really cool retro TV because this will remind you of the old McDonald's days when they had really cool small little TVs in there. Yeah, all the old people used to use these TVs. Yep, yeah, but now we are starting to use them again. And look, I think that's the food channel. Or Wait, is that Shrek? <laughs> Give me your McDonald's. Wait, Pim, what just happened to you? You turned into a chef! I'm a Shrek! Oh, no, you're Chef Shrek. I don't like this anymore, Pip. Take that hat off. But, Pip, we need Bruh. to start focusing on actually building these machines. We've been... Oh, yeah, you're right, Louie. Anyways, Pip, take a look at this. We have the ordering stations, we have the tables, and we have a nice game to play. And most of all, we also have cars and a really cool playground in this McDonald's. I think we are ready to show JJ and my yeah, Louie. Let's just add a cherry on top of your McDonald's. Wait, what are you doing? No, 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 no. Do not put TNT. Oh, not, Louie. I think it would make the place a little bit better. No, it would be an explosive surprise that I do not like. But anyways, Mikey, JJ, come on. It's time for you to look at this McDonald's. And uh, also uh, Pip's gym. Wait, no, Louie. I can't do that. My gym isn't finished. I need more time. All right. Well, I guess if your gym isn't good enough, you'll have to go into the death pit. So, uh, hurry up, Pip. Make your gym good right now. No, I won't. Good luck trying to put me in there. Oh, guys. Louie is definitely going to end up in that death pit, and it will be hilarious. But this is how my gym is looking right now. I just think it needs a little bit more. Like, a ticket stand. Our gym can't free. We need customers to pay for it. So let's just go ahead and make a little bit of a corner right here. People can give us money on a counter. We're kind of low on a budget, so we have to use kitchen counters for our receptionist desk. But for our 
our receptionist desk. Well, let's just put a chest right here where our receptionist can hand out little keys. These keys will be keys to the gym. Our gym is amazing. I think I'm going to charge $9,000 for one gym membership. Oh, this is so expensive. There's no <laughs> way Louie has that much money. So I think I'm going to make Louie do some chores if he wants to get inside of my gym for free. And we're going to put a bunch of cobwebs around my entrance where Louie will be forced to clean them up if he wants to get inside. <laughs> we'll even put some outside. Louie's going to initially think the cobwebs are ugly. If he thinks they're so ugly, why doesn't he just clean them up with this? This vacuum cleaner. But now my gym is all missing a little bit of pizzazz. Let's just go over here and if you guys look around, there's not a lot of decoration. I think we should add some gym mats so people can work out on. Let's just go ahead and get black carpet from my inventory and put it all around. As guys, if you've never been to the gym before, a lot of the ground is usually black or some kind of sticky material so that you do not injure yourself while working out. All right, Louie, I'm all done. Oh, about time, Pip. That took a long time. All right, I think I'm ready to see the inside of your gym. Well, prepare to be amazed or broke. <laughs> well, we'll see about that, buddy. Look, I'm going to go into survival mode and let's go into your gym. Whoa, what's going on in here? Well, this is the receptionist desk, right? Right here. You want to pay for a gym membership? $9,000! Pip, I am not paying that much money for a gym membership. What do you think I am? Crazy? Well, Louie, if you don't want to pay up, we're going to have to make you work for your gym membership. <laughs> work for my gym membership? How am I going to work for it, Pip? Go ahead, tell me. Well, Louie, you see all these cobwebs around my gym? Uh, I see them. What do you want me to do with them? Get the Cleaning. Are you kidding me? You're going to make me vacuum a bunch of cobwebs? Oh, fine. All right, let me vacuum this one and this one right here. This one. And I think I'm done now, Pip. Um, Louie, you missed a spot. Oh, oh my gosh, there's cobwebs everywhere. Okay. Oh. Oh, destroy it. Pow. Okay, Pip, is that all of the cobwebs? Is there any more? Um, Louie, besides the cobwebs in my head, I think that's all of them. Are you sure? I'm looking around. I'm, I'm making sure I didn't miss anything. Just so you don't go ahead and make me work anymore. I don't want to be doing chores around your gym. Well, Louie, maybe I'll find some more chores for you to do later. <laughs> but come in here. Here's the key to your gym membership. Congratulations! Wait, you're giving me a car key for the gym? Okay, well, how do I get in? Is there, like, some gates I have to unlock? Oh, no, Louie. Just come up here, you silly Billy. What? So you're saying I could have just walked in the whole time? Yeah, but you have to walk over here. All right, and wait, what is this? Is this your gym? This looks crazy. Oh, yeah, Louie. Isn't it the craziest gym you've ever seen? Mm, I've seen crazier, but show me around. I want to see what this is all about. Well, Louie, over here are our first racks of weight. We have our dumb and our bells. Oh, Pip, I don't think I can lift these bells. They're a little too heavy. Or well, maybe you're just a little too weak. Oh, let me try. Let me try. Am I lifting it? Am I lifting it? <laughs> Louie, you're so weak. Watch how I lift my bells. Wait, what? You did a backflip? What? Watch this, Pip. I'm going to do something even crazier. I can't lift it. <laughs> oh, Louie, you might need to spend a long time in our gym if you want to get ripped. Oh, I'm trying really hard, but it's really hard to move this bell. And I think I just ate it, Pip. Um, Louie, do not eat the bell. It might be poisonous. Okay, fine. I put the bell back. Oh, whatever. Good job, Louie. But over here is our next workout area. Can you guess what this is? Well, this seems very much like a punching bag. Do I just have to punch these? Yeah, Louie. When you punch the punching bags, your fists will begin. So that you can punch harder, faster, and tougher. Whoa, but wait. Why are the armor stands with helmets next to it? Do I have to be wearing head protection to attack this? Well, not to attack this. You need head protection if you want to 1v1 another gym member in the boxing arena. 
Whoa, all right, I'm ready. I put on my helmet. But what kind of prize can I win if I beat you? You win survival, as you wouldn't die. All right, well, let me jump into the ring, and I guess we can start boxing it out. All right, Louie, let me just get my boxing gloves on. <laughs> oh, I'm ready, Pip. I mean, look, I've literally decked out my boxing gloves. I was born ready, Louie. All right, uh, let's start boxing in three, and two, and one, and... <laughs> I missed it now! <laughs> How did you just beat me up, Pip? That was insane! I told you, Louie, I'm a professional boxer. Did you miss that part? Oh, really? Well, here we go. I'm about to hit my special attack on you. Whoop! Oh, wait, how did you survive? Um, Louie, we already fought. I'm back in creative mode. I beat you. Uh, you know what? I don't even need to beat you anyways. I know you would lose in an actual fist fight. You just had the infinity gauntlet, you loser. Well, I never use my feathers to fight because my feathers are very weak. I know they are, Pip, but what else is in your gym? Is there something else I'm missing? Well, of course, Louie. Go upstairs. This is the party floor. Whoa, the party floor? Seems like I could fall from up here. Are you sure this is safe? Uh, yeah, Louie. Just go ahead and fall <laughs> off. <laughs> oh, Pip, get me back up there right now. All right, Louie. Just come on in. Climb up. All right, fine. I'm on my way. Let me just walk back up the stairs the whole way. And... Wait, is this a pool? Yeah, Louie. This is where we train for the Swimming Olympics. All right, Pip. But anyways, watch this. I'm going to train for the Olympics right now. I'm going to jump straight into that diving board. Here we go. Boing, 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 and boing. Okay, I've got a big bounce going. In. Whoa! Pip, you just punched the diving board. No, I didn't, Louie. You just missed. Oh, let me try again. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to do the gritty. I'm going to do the gritty. I'm doing the gritty. I'm doing the gritty. And... Wabusha! I'm in the water. Oh, Louie, you should try that uh, one more time. Okay, let me try again. Let me just find a better trick to do. I'm gonna do the Among Us dive. Here we go. One, two, three! Ow! ow. Pip, did you just put <laughs> sponges in the water? No more water. Ow, that hurts a lot. Well, Louie, if you weren't so fat, maybe when you splash in the water, all of the water wouldn't have evaporated. Are are you kidding me? You know what? I want out of here. I don't like your gym anymore, Pip. It's kind of scaring me. All right. Let's get out of your gym now. That was a mess. There is no way that Mikey doesn't let you fall into that hole. Um, I think Mikey would love Mikey. As in a gym, you can get stronger and get healthier. But you cannot do that in a McDonald's. Oh, well, I might not be able to get fit and healthy in a McDonald's. But it's still very good food. Come Come on, let's go inside my McDonald's and let's see what's in store for us. All right, well, follow me, Pip. First of all, we are going to try out this really cool slide. Just come on up and uh, don't fall off. Uh, oops, oh, did I punch you? Oh, oops, uh, sorry, did I punch you? Should I be in survival mode, Louie? Um, yes. Oh, am I supposed to die at your McDonald's? Why do I have to be in survival mode? Oh, oh, I'm just being a bully. You're not allowed on the slide because I'm one of those kids who stand on the top and beat people up who try to get on. Oh, well, I'll beat you up then. Come here. No, Come here. not allowed. Ah! I'm the strong no, bully. No, no. I'm in creative mode. Oh, fine. Then I'll go up the slide. <laughs> Good luck. I'll just punch you down the slide into the spikes. <laughs> no! No! I got caught in the web. Yep, now you're stuck in the deadly cobwebs and there's no escape. I'm just gonna punch you because I'm an Wait, evil mean bully. <laughs> Take that! All right, Pip. You died in my McDonald's, but don't worry. I'll actually let you go down the slide now. Go on. Give it All a go. Right. Cannonball! Whoa! <laughs> Pip, you did a backflip. You are very lucky you did not hit your head. That would have been very dangerous. You oh, landed head on, first. Louie. I'm a duck. I have feather falling. All right. Well, how about this, Pip? How about you give my roller coaster another go? Looking pretty good, right? Oh, well, yeah, Louie. I've already done this roller coaster. I mean, did you change anything about it? Nope, nothing changed, but you can go around a few times and maybe something will change about it in a second. All right, Louie, but how many times do you want me to do this? This roller coaster is super fun. I want to do this forever. Oh, just uh, three 
times, Pip, just three times. All right, guys, watch this. I'm going to remove the tracks for the roller coaster and put a bunch of fans right here. Now, when Pip gets back to this area of the roller coaster, he's going to get blown off. Not just anywhere safe, but uh, into the death pit. This is going to be really funny. All right, Pip, are you coming back around? All right, Louie, I'm coming back around the roller coaster. And wait a second, what did you just do? I'm uh, not <laughs> Sorry, Pip. I teleported you back. That was a very unsafe roller coaster. But now it's time to actually try out this little carousel right here. This is a very fun little ride. Come on, Louie. Start the ride. Start the ride. All right. I'm getting ready to start it now. Let's put the bearing down. And here it goes. We are spinning around. I'm going to hop on the ride and woohoo! Louie, this is awesome. We should really invite Mikey and JJ onto this spinner. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. But, uh, it starts to get boring after a while just being sat here. So, um, uh, Pippa, how's the weather today? Oh, well, Louie, it's really boring when all I have to do is look at your face all day. Oh, all right, fine. Well, come on, buddy. Let's go ahead and go to a different part of the McDonald's. You can look at the parking lot, which has some pretty cool things in it. It has a Lamborghini. A tank, it has a little smart car, and it has my epic sports car right here. Louie, this is a sports car? This looks like an elephant. But look, it has the exhaust on the back. That's what it is. Um, no, these are the elephant trunks. Oh, you know what? Enough about that, Pip. Follow me inside the McDonald's. We need to take a look inside. After all, this is the main show. All right, Louie, but can I order something at all? Well, yeah, of course you can. Look, I'll go ahead and put a chef hat on. And I'll also put a chef apron on. So now, Pip, I'm ready to take your order. Whoa, Louie, are you Chef Louie Ramsey? Yes, Pip, my name is Louie Fumblebag because I fumbled the bag because I'm working at McDonald's right now. Oh my gosh, Louie. I thought you were going to get a better job like a doctor or a lawyer. Well, yeah, I've been offered good jobs in my lifetime, but sadly I can't take them because I'm stuck oh. at McDonald's. Louie, why are you stuck? at McDonald's. Can't you just be like, I quit? Um, well, Pip, that's the thing. I signed the contract, and now I can't go back. Oh, how long are you stuck here for? Uh, at least five years. Well, can't you just work at the gym across the street? Nope, I'm sorry, Pip. I signed a contract on that as well. But, but anyways, Pip, come on. We have to go ahead and make some McDonald's right now so that you can order. But wait, you haven't even ordered yet. Go to the machine. Oh, all right, all right. Uh, Mr. Robot Man, I'll take everything. Okay, you can have some fries. That, that wasn't me, Pip, by the way. That was uh, the machine. Well, it sounded awfully like you. Well, maybe you should talk to the machine again. It, it looks like it's saying something to you. You are ugly. Okay. Ding. Oh. Yeah, Pip, I think oh. the machine called you ugly. No, no. Grr. Mr. or Mrs. Uh, self-service window, how much will all the food cost? Uh, $500. Ding. $500? I barely even have $5. Well, Pip, you gotta pay up or else uh, I will get the police on oh, you. I don't want to pay up because I'm the king of the hill after all. All right. Well, you know what, Pip? I guess you are king of the hill. All right, Louie, but enough of this. I want to get my order now. I think I just completed my self-ordering kiosk thing. So where's my food? All right. Well, what did you order, Pip? I need to know. All right. I ordered one count of everything. One count of everything? Uh, let me just look at the menu. Uh, poop, seeds, frozen flesh, but that's a lot of food. You know what? I think I'll just give you some fries. Here you go, buddy. Enjoy your McDonald's. I got oh. one french fry for $500. Yeah, I mean, it's a very rich restaurant. After all, Pip, my boss says less is more. Uh, but I paid $500 for this. Are, are you scamming me? Uh, no. And I totally didn't get those fries from a chef somewhere else in another restaurant. I don't cheat that way. Oh, you probably stole Grr. these fries from KFC, didn't you? Um, Pip, I would not be able to tell you. My contract says so. Oh, Louie, I didn't Bruh. even know you worked at McDonald's. When did you start working here? Uh, about a year ago. All right, Louie. So, I see. 
coincidentally, when I first met you, started working at McDonald's. Yep, yeah, that's how the cookie crumbles, Pip. But anyways, look! You've been inside my McDonald's and taken a look around, and I've looked inside of your gym. But whose build is better? Well, Louie, let me just put on this head and... Hey, guys, my name is Louie. Pip's gym is way better. What? Hey! No, 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 no. I don't want to go in that death pit. Well, Louie, I did say my gym was better, and even you said my gym was better. That wasn't me! Uh, well, Louie, time no, for you to go no, get No, no, I don't want to go in there. I don't want to go in there. Don't put me in! Have fun! <laughs> Those diamonds belong to me. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed that video and want to see more just like it, make sure to like, subscribe, and click that next video on your screen. Let's